Welcome to episode 223, and this is for the Universal Championship. And here comes a return. You remember this man? He was in a Royal Rumble back a while. A dozen months ago. It was a long, long, long time ago. This man called Monster was a dominant motherfucker and almost won the Universal Championship, but then he disappeared for a while. And now he is finally going to get his, you know, a chance at the Universal Championship. But if you remember, we have a new Universal Champion called uh, Brother Black. He won the Battle Royal and defeating Roman Reigns in that eight. But I think Roman Reigns over. I mean, the last man who was in that Battle Royal over to become the next champ. I see me kicking Roman Reigns outside that ring. And here comes the new Universal Champion. Just coming down that ring like it's nothing. On his debut, he won the 24-7 championship, and now look at him, he is now the main champion of Raw. He has won the Universal title. Because in all fairness, it was meant to be Kurt Hawkins in that championship match, but that but Kurt Hawkins could not turn up because of a uh, car issue. So we found Brother Black in the situation. So we put Brother Black in that match instead. Because he was there in his locker room board. And because he didn't have a match schedule. And he was there waiting patiently. Then he got caught up being the battle roll. And look where he is now. He's now the new Universal Champion. And yes, Kurt Hawkins will get a Universal title shot. If you all wanted to know, that will be probably after Fastlane, or maybe at Fastlane. It's At this point, Jordan Robertson is probably have a very close eye on this match because he could face the Universal Champion or the World Champion. Draven is your current World Heavyweight Champion, or will whoever wins this match he has to have a very close eye on because you never know who is their next target at WrestleMania. To go up against the best 24/7 champion so far. Oh, what a DDT straight off the bat! I think Brother Black was a bit scared of how heavy this dude was. He's trying to uh, get some hits in. Oh, what a clothesline! He doesn't want to do what he did to the 24/7 tall and get a rolled up for a uh, for a new champion. Oh, he kicked out one. Drop kick, and he's not on his feet. Oh, nice, uh, nice, uh, swing neck breaker rotation. 
and sharp and some top of the back. This man is a lot heavier than uh, Brother Black. He's like six hot curb stop. The monster, the one in ring of the Mohawk, right? He weighs over 600 pounds. While Brother Black only weighs 205, the same weight as Jordan Robertson. What a suplex. And I don't think Brother Black wants to lose this easy because that makes him the shortest running Universal Champion that will ever will be. And yes, Adam Cole is the shortest reign world champion on it as far as reign that he wanted. So we had it for 17 days. Until we had it for. And we keep getting screwed over. And oh my god! What a knee to the face! Taking down the monster. Elbow drop, his in the heart, and going for the cover. Look at his iron. One kick out. What is Brother Black going to do to take down this beast? Now, walk on the sort of still legs. Now, working on the um, elbows. I mean, um, shoulder plate. <coughs> Leg drop. Turn around now. And a chop in the back of the head. Here we go. This might bring some momentum to his side now. Drop kick. Keep doing these drop kicks. Turn around with a swinging neck breaker. Going for the cover. One, two, kick out. That was almost a three, almost retained his championship. Sister Abigail going for the cover now. One, two, kick out. Every time he's getting closer and closer to that three, we don't think he's going to retain. Oh, shooting star. Oh, he lifted his shoulder up. Oh my god. The monster has him up for a power slam. Oh shit. Look at the monster. He is up. He is up there. Oh my god. <laughs> what a side slam he did there. And now. He's doing some moves, combination, taking him down, going for that cover. One, two, and he kicks out at the final second. Almost retaining the Universal title right there. Brother Black must be frustrated. There's two different, oh, go for the shoot again, but miss. Two different weight sizes, it must be annoying. And now, the Stomp. Into a curb stomp combination. Now picking up Monster now. But duking in his ass. And now, what is Brother Black doing? Oh, taking him down with a jump. And now. Oh, reversing the end of days. Count three. Now just pounding on his ass. He's just getting counted out second by second. On a five count. You can't win the championship by a count out with monster. On a seven. Brother Black must be dead right now. Picking him up. Oh! Going for the man of the portal. Oh. But look at him just power out into an armbar. No. He lets go. Oh. 
I'm taking him down with a slam. Oh, waking him up. Picking him up for a choke slam. This might be it. One, two, kicking out two. Saving his reign at the moment. Waking him up. He's going to try and do another choke slam. Choke slam again for the second time. One, two, and he kicks out again. He wants to stay as the Universal Champion. Going for a third one. Going for a lucky charm. But this time he reverses. And now, the knee combination. Oh, but he reverses it. Turn him around now. Sister Abigail! Oh, it looks like he's trying to end it now. Super kick! Going for the cover! One, two, three! And Brother Black retains the Universal Championship against a monster who almost took him out with two choke slams. He does let everybody know he's not a joke for defending a championship. He might have failed the 24-7, but he repelled for the Universal, and he actually retained something for once, unlike he did against, <coughs> um, against Cage. The monster was one of the biggest threats, but retains.